I was first diagnosed with Crohn's disease in 2002 when I was 13 years old. Over the course of 15 years, took every biologic in DMART under the sun, and none of them worked. I'm hurting a lot this morning. Uh, my body is just so achy. I had to think about every atom of my body and every movement of my body. It's just such a confining and isolating feeling. In bioelectronic medicine, rather than look for drugs or molecules to hit the target, we look for nerves to control the target in the disease. If you understand how to use nerve signals, then it's possible to build a device to control the nerve, to control the target. So rather than give a chemical to block an inflammatory protein, we're asking the body through a system that's been developed over millions of years of evolution to do what it does normally, and we're augmenting it by giving small electrical digital doses of medication. With bioelectronic medicine, we're really trying to treat both disease and the most debilitating conditions that our patients are facing. We have just begun a new clinical trial to help people with paralysis. We want to help people with spinal cord injury that can't move or feel anything on their hands and restore that movement. This is a novel way of treating rheumatoid arthritis, a promise of being able to relieve their pain and improve their quality of life. Inflammatory diseases, diabetes is on the list, lupus and other autoimmune diseases, they're all on the list. We already have human clinical trial evidence that this approach, based on Dr. Tracy's work, works not only in RA, but it also works in Crohn's disease, a very serious form of inflammatory bowel disease. In 2014, I found Dr. Tracy's interview about bioelectronic medicine, and from then on made it my mission to figure out how to get the vagus nerve implant. Her family got together the resources, and her community came behind her to support her and her husband, Sean, to move to Amsterdam for the trial last July. She was implanted with a bioelectronic device that worked. When we first turned the device on, I forgot to take my pain medication that night because I didn't need it. When I saw what everybody at the Center for Bioelectronic Medicine is working on, I realized what they are doing is truly going to revolutionize healthcare and change the world. Kelly is my hero, and these other patients are my heroes. A hero takes risks and hopes that the outcome will help not only herself in this case, but maybe millions of more people. She's my hero. It's a pretty incredible feeling to use my body again. And now the only side effect that I have is just that I feel good. 